All right, so we're uh, we're out here right now, and um, we've been working hard all morning trying to get some liveies up, and um, the consistency of, of, of bait is not in the area. So what we've done is uh, we're really quickly, as hard and fast as we can, trying to pack up, and we're going to head to the next spot. Okay, so um, again, first thing we did, pumped out burly. Um, we started working the sabikis, had sabikis under balloons, sabikis down the bottom. Um, we got a piper, uh, we hooked up on a car while when we first got here, and we dropped it. <clears throat> um, but now we're going to shoot around the corner and see if we can uh, find a bit better conditions. We're looking for clean water today. Um, it is a bit overcast, which is an ideal when you um, when I'm looking out there for kingies. I, I like to have a really um, sunny day. Um, but um, yeah, so we're going to go and have another look around. Uh, Oh, look, look, look. Bro, please. Yeah. Yeah, something's definitely here. So, um, one of the boys has spotted a, a smaller kingfish in our burly trail. And what we're doing right now is we're just just ripping up bits of poochers, chucking it in the water. Um, and why we're doing that is to see if we can get them in close to have a look around, have a look around our burley, have a look at what we've got going on out there. We've got liveys out, so the big ones that may come through are catered to. But this little fella, he's he's trying to get a feed, and, that, and the big car while we've got out, he's not going to touch them. So already you can see the car while feeding on our bits of uh, poochers. But as soon as that thingy takes a tube of that bait, we've got one set up on a hook that we can chuck out to him as well. And then uh, hopefully hook him up and have a bit of a strip. So the boys here have never caught a kingfish off the rocks. And this guy here is the perfect candidate. So hopefully we can get him in the feed. I haven't seen him on the uh, the pilchard tubes, but lucky for us, we've got the uh, Southern Baits Bullet Tuna. So uh, I'm going to give that a go and see if we can pull him in. Um, I'm constantly asked on Facebook and uh, on YouTube, how do I know if I'm burlying right? Um, basically, you should be able to see your burly trail. Um, and the second part to that is, there should pretty much be something um, constantly having a look at it, like this. So, how do you know if your burley's working? When you can get a livey every time you chuck a bait in the water. It's good number three. So we're uh, obviously we're out here today to catch some uh, kingfish, and uh, this is probably the most important rig of the day, and it's the Sabiki rig. This is to catch our live bait which will hopefully mean in turn we're going to catch some kinks.
too, too good. I think I'll go that far enough, but We've got another nice little honey kahua here. We've got one out under the balloon which is fishing the surface. Now we're going to go stick one out on a slide baiting rig that we've cast out a little bit um, earlier on. And um, it's important to note if you're using live bait um, to catch kingfish or whatever the case may be, try and keep your hands out of the gills as much as possible. You see a lot of people grab under there just to grip the fish. The minute you do that you're messing with what helps the fish to breathe. Mm -hmm. So try and keep your hands out, look after the fish as much as you can. I'm cradling it in here just so that I look after it. When I stick him out, he's kicking and he's, he's good and good and all well. Um, when you're hooking it, again, through there, slide it around, make sure there's no scales around the, the uh, barb of the hook, and she's good to go. Um, these here are the clips that we've had made up, slide baiting clips, very easy to use. Check out some of our other videos and uh, get into some slide baiting. It fishes the top of the water column to the bottom and it fishes in closer to the reef and out wide. So very, very effective way to fish and uh, it means you're covering a lot more distance. Ooh, he's keen to get out there. Covering a lot more distance and uh, fishing a lot more effectively. So I'm going to put him out, check this out. So we're out here. We're trying to get some tinkers today, and um, we've got the sabikis going. Um, as you can see, we're we're trying to get a, a huge range of, of different baits that we can put out. Um, we've just caught ourselves a nice honey kawai live bait. And I've just managed to, as we've seen earlier here, we're straight lining. And, um, this is the slide baiting method. Just a little.
Clyde Bank family. Right there. 